Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. Chess and Ed. Um, I'm going to do a Birchbox unboxing. I got this two days ago. I just, I haven't opened it. Um, just been a little busy. Sorry it's so dark, but I think it's going to snow out again. It's only April. Whatever. Anyways, I took it out of the box that it came in. And my dog, Sunny, decided it'd be his dinner. So, luckily I saved this box. Anyways, this is the box. It's really pretty. It's all yellow in the back. Um, these usually come with really pretty papers, so I'm really excited to see what's inside. Um, time to unbox. Okay. So, when you get your boxes, it usually comes with papers that tell you what's in it. If you wanted to get the full size of whatever you want. So, that's this. See the other side? Anyways, I'm not going to throw it like the rest of the world does. I would eventually have to pick it up. Um, also, there's, it's called Rifle Paper and Company. Um, if you check out the code below, you get 20% off. You can look. So, if you want the code, there it is, if you don't get the birch box. Okay. So, this looks interesting. This is... Zero one all in one milk from Divines. Can you see that? What it is is a raku oil con oil. I can't read French, but what it is is I'm gonna look on the paper. It's inertia and leave in treatment, adds volume, shine, detangling, and heat protection. Plus, there's a bonus of oh, I see free samples in the box of their shampoo and conditioner. They're free samples. But, I'm going to open it. It smells so good. It, like, smells so good. So I'm going to try some on my skin. You can't see it, because sometimes it, there's a film where it's white. Wow, that smells clean. That I'm definitely going to have to use. Sometimes when I get these boxes, my daughter steals my stuff, so even though I want to use it, it never happens. Okay, next up is Visanti. It's an ex Esmeric Face Rejuvenator. And what you do is you apply it to your skin and cleanse like you normally would. And it's got dermatologists like little micro crystals that go in there to help exfoliate but yeah that seems interesting it smells so clean like fresh clean soap like just getting out of the tub it's nice and then we have this lip blush and the color is birthday suit I'm going to put it on my skin. To, ooh, can you see that? I know the light and kind of... Ooh, it's not real sticky like normal lip glosses are. And it smells so good. And my lips get very dry very fast. So... Wow, that smells like bubble gum. It's going to be nice to have. Though, my daughter will probably take it. And then the next thing is a CC cream, which is just as good as like having the BB cream and stuff like that. Um, it's called Super Goop and it's got omega-3s and stuff like that. So what all you're doing is before you go outside, because it does have a SPF in it, you want to put it on all over and help protect your, it's tinted too. See that? So you want to. I'm going to try some because I'm not wearing makeup today. Sunday. See? And then you put it all over. Everywhere you think that you're going to need it, especially when you're out, even though it's kind of gloomy and stuff, there's still sun working through. And some people who have ultra sensitive skin really need a SPF all the time. Um, my daughter's got beautiful 
copper red hair and she has the most sensitive skin. She uses an SPF all the time in everything she uses. Okay, so the last thing is from Julia Has Gum and apparently it's a, it's a perfume and the perfume's called Anyway. Oh, it even has a little thing like that. This is... It's got 15 ingredients going back to the basics, only keeping the best. Blend of musks, woods, floral petals, notes that come together and make a subtle present silage. That's what it says. Don't know what the word means. But I'll look it up later. Anyways, so see what it looks like. And then there you go. Hold on. There you go. I'm going to give it a little spray. Even though it's a different spray. It's okay. Um, the one spray I love that if someone says, what kind of perfume does this person wear? Hands down, Estee Lauder, Red Door. Um, the top, top top, I love. Can't go without. Need it every day. Huh? Yeah, Elizabeth Arden, sorry. My husband knows better. He buys it all the time. Anyways, sorry, Elizabeth Arden. Anyways, it's my favorite perfume. I get it every Christmas by, from my husband. It's the one thing I treasure all, all year long. And it literally lasts me maybe six months. Love it. Um, but I don't mind trying other perfumes. It's If it's out there and it's coming to me, I'm going to use it. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Love you and have a good day.